Imagine being a PUB engineer in 1987. You've been working on the Singapore River cleanup for a decade and it's finally done. Then here comes another big ambitious idea to transform the whole of Marina Bay into a freshwater lake. It seems crazy, but that's just what we did. This is the story of Marina Barrage. In the past, most of our flood problems are caused by the fact that uh, many of the drainage systems are influenced by tidal conditions. That gave birth to an idea of having a barrage or a tidal barrier. The main benefit will be for water supply, but secondary to that will be the benefit of eliminating the tidal water from going into our rivers. Mr. Lee was very visionary to say that in 20 years' time, let there be a barrage at the mouth of the Marina Channel. In 2005, the construction of the Marina Barrage began. Three years later, it was completed and became Singapore's 15th reservoir. Well, a project like this is very complex. At the time when we were building, it was a live channel, a navigational channel. So we have to build the barrage in stages so that the navigational traffic can still move without any problem. In 2010, um, we also commissioned uh, the marina reservoir. It took about two years for the water body, which used to be seawater, progressively turned into fresh water. The marina reservoir is, uh, has a unique character in two ways. Firstly, it has a urbanized catchment. So we spend a bit more resources to make sure that it is clean. Secondly, the marina reservoir is located in the heart of the city. So we need to put in uh, extra effort to make sure that it looks nice uh, sitting in the middle of the city. Today, the iconic marina barrage has boosted Singapore's water supply and reduced flooding in low-lying city areas. It is also a lifestyle destination and an iconic landmark of Singapore. I see a lot of people really, really enjoy the marina barrage. They cycle through, they fly their kites, have their picnics. So it gives me a sense of uh, pride to offer uh, something that is beyond uh, flood control, uh, water supply, uh, and, and that makes me uh, happy. La. The unique part is how we actually integrate this barrage with public amenities. A decade ago, right, this place is not as accessible as it is now. So the challenge was how to bring in people to this place. But I think the unique winning point is really with the green roof, having an expansive view of the city, this actually allows us to hold events that enable to attract crowds into the Marina Barrage. The non-engineering aspects of the work right, was something really new to me. Imagine when we have to organise events, you have to think about public safety, you have to think of how you manage the crowd, disperse the crowd. But I'm glad uh, everything eventually went well because of this team here that we had. In most engineering uh, facilities, you will see fences split around, security, guard and whole place is off limits to the public. But this place is designed in a very, very different way. It's very open. Whenever people come here, they're attracted by this place. They can take back with them that this water project is really something that is so worthwhile for Singapore. Through the determination and creativity of generations of engineers, the Marina Barrage has gone from being an ambitious idea to reality and will remain a cornerstone of Singapore's water story for years to come.